Well, hello there. This Hi. is Pavel and Vitaly. Hi. Nice Hi. to see you here in Davos. Please tell us about your involvement in the cryptocurrency world. We're a global tokenization platform, BankX. We've done pretty successful token sale closet late of the year. We raised like top 10 uh, funds in the global blockchain industry. And right now we are converting from fundraising to implementation of our technologies and our products. We are right now developing roughly about 30 products different for each industry, different for each applications. I'm personally in charge in one of them. So basically we are uh, focusing in uh, bringing crypto world and crypto economy to a real world economy and real world assets by making from the just a regular our asset, smart asset and issue crypto derivative on it. Some people are sounding alarm bells about a possible bubble in the cryptocurrency world. Are you concerned about that? Do you think it's still time to get in for those investors who haven't? It depends on the currency because uh, there is one, so to say, yield for classic and uh, most established cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Monero, some other like one. And there is a enormous opportunity. There are enormous opportunities for so-called altcoins alternative um, tokens and coins that have their own yield because they are basically supported not by uh, decentralized distribution like Bitcoin, they are supported by the products. And once the company delivers feasible product and this product has a high adoption rate, then these tokens will be dependent, of course, on white paper and dependent on the, on the business system and tokenomics. These tokens will be highly utilized and the price for it will most likely will go up, which I hope is our case as well. So uh, it depends on an opportunity. If you want to get into Bitcoin, my personal opinion that right now, right now it's undervalued. Uh, but uh, altcoins, they offer a much higher return and much higher multiplier. And for those people looking at different ICOs, how do you separate the good apples from the bad? How do you really choose given that Oh, it's, it's very easy. It's classic. Every investor knows that half of his projects are crap and half of the project are brilliant. He just knows which half. So it's very easy. It's just a guessing game. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you.